Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the free Ample Guitar M to Light VST plugin in Reaper. So the Ample Guitar M to Light is a free VST plugin that works in Reaper for both PC and Mac. And its basic function is to simulate the sound of a real acoustic guitar. And it does a great job. So let's go to the Ample Sound website. Go up here to the download section, and then down here to the free software section. You can see the Ample Guitar M to Light right here, and a few places you can download it for free. And once it's installed, we can open up Reaper. We'll start by creating a new track. Let's name it Guitar, put it in Record, and set the input to my USB MIDI keyboard, which is right down here. And again, it's not a part of Reaper. I just put this here so you can see what I'm playing. Let's go to the track effects, choose instruments, and choose the plugin Ample Guitar M2 Light right here. Double click it. And this is what the plugin looks like. And just like the bass plugin, there's a lot of options to choose from, but we're not going to go through them in here. If you're curious, just hold your mouse over them and it'll explain what they do. But for the most part, how it opens up will work for us. Now, the section over here in blue is where we're going to play any musical parts, like arpeggios. Or single note melodies. Or both with chords. Notice how the chords sound strummed, even though I played them at the same time. So that's this section. Next, we have this section for articulations and noises. Right here, we have a scratch. Then we have a slap, which can be used along with guitar playing. And we can do a similar thing with the silent press, which is going to mute any ringing notes. And the same thing with the silent stroke, which sounds like this. And next we have two downstroke noises and upstroke noises. And they sound like this. And with chords, they sound like this. And over here, we have two polynote repeater keys, which allow us to create natural sounds when we're repeating the same note. So instead of sounding like this, it'll sound like this. Next, we have high top open. And with chords, it sounds like this. And then high top mute. And finally, hit rim. So those are the articulations. But the best part about this plugin is this feature up here called Strummer, which opens up this window. Over here, we choose the chords we're going to play with one finger. And over here, we choose the rhythm we're going to play, or strum. Let's turn on strum mode over here. 
and let's watch the rhythm that's going to play. And we can choose which chord is being played just by hitting different keys. So this will be C major, D minor, E minor, F major, and G major. And we could also change the key right here, maybe to F, then all the chords change accordingly, or G, or even change the chords individually to any type of chord you want. Let's put it back to C to keep it simple. And we could also change the patterns over here. And we could have eight of them loaded at a time and choose them with our MIDI keys. Let's try recording a part built around this second pattern and change the chords on the fly. And take notice when we change the chords. Let's go into record. We could also load different patterns into here. We're using slot two. So let's import some that came with this plugin. And we could see there's a whole bunch. Let's choose this one. And it'll play back what we just recorded, but with this new pattern we loaded. We could also create our own patterns by drawing in here or just using these chords and triggering them manually, like this. So we could hit the high E key to trigger a stroke, then the F sharp to cut it off, and just play a pattern with that while changing the chords. Let's try recording that in our song. So as you can see, it's a really powerful plugin for creating acoustic guitar performances in Reaper. 
So that's pretty much it. That's the free Ample Guitar M2 Lite VST plugin in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.